All right, everyone. Uh, it is me, Johnson Chen, and I deliberately actually lied in bed uh, to make sure that I would, you know, rest my body properly. Um, especially uh, since I lifted weights yesterday. So anyway, uh, work is, continues to go in the game. Uh, the voiceovers are done. Um, I have to admit, uh, still not thrilled with my own voice. As I don't feel it's deep, deep enough. Because the way I hear my voice now sounds completely different than the voice you hear that all of you are hearing. And, uh, you know, the difference is just so staggering. It's like, eh, does not portray, I feel it doesn't portray an admiral as well. However, I listened to a speech by Patton that he gave after, was it Patton? Yeah, that Patton gave after I think he was, just after he was fired by Truman, or it was maybe after World War II uh, ended. I'm not really sure which one of the two. It was after a major event. Um, he sounds kind of like me, a, a little. Right? He's, he's got the same kind of light voice. You know, there's nothing deep about it. And I also heard some other Google algorithm suggested videos where like, he had actual Navy SEALs talking and they have a light voice just like i do so it's like all right well i guess i'm just gonna go with that then all right so well, it's like you know but i still would prefer a deeper voice so i i'm i mean i'll have to try those humming exercises but uh i'll try to figure out how to <clears throat> lengthen and thicken the length of my vocal cords you know um you know we'll have to see we'll have to see uh, and I want to try to use like non-artificial way. I, I actually want like a natural, real thing. So that's why I'm not using like add-ons, props, and uh, filters, and all that other like you know TikTok bullshit stuff. So, or see, what was the other one before TikTok came along? Uh, was it Reddit, right? But uh, I can't even remember Snapchat. I think that's what it was. Yeah, Snapchat. See, that's the thing too. Like the reason why I never got on Snapchat. Um, Palooza, um, what you want to call bandwagon? That's the word I was looking for. For the bandwagon, I was like, it'll just be a fad. Someone else uses, and then TikTok comes along. Now they're the new fad. It's like, you know, I, I rather have something sustainable. So there's that, and then I'm also trying to decide because I'm really trying to make adjustments. Because now that I've been working on my story, right? Well, I guess I could say now because I already have the copyrights right here in front of me. So now that I'm working on the story for Aeon, that's the name of my show. Uh, which is spelled A E O N. Um, yeah, it's like okay, I have to work on you know my John Truby structure stuff, and like it's really dense. All right, and I also paid him the sixty-seven bucks because he's developed a new philosophy course, philosophy and theme course. I don't want to get into it because I don't fully understand it myself either. But it's entirely brand new material, and it's actually something that I'm really having a lot of trouble with. Uh, well, I shouldn't say trouble with, but it's the one part of the John Truby course that I don't actually fully understand yet. Uh, he's going to go into basically complete full detail about that, you know, because basically it comes down to uh, the weakness of the hero. Like there are two, there are a bunch of needs that need to be done, but primarily the hero has to have a, a psychological personal weakness, which I basically have have it down. And then he's got to have a moral need, a moral problem that affects negatively affects everyone else. They're not the same. They're actually separate. They're, they're supposed to be related, but separate. Uh, and then overall, that has to tie into like a theme of the story, right? You know, what is the theme of like, say, The Dark Knight, right? Batman has one way that he views the world that people should live. And then the Joker had, a, had basically the opposite way, right? A world with no rules. So, you know, like, it, 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 it's so dense and complicated, and I have to design the same thing with the villain and all that stuff, so. Good, the great news is it'll be great, and um, if I do it right, which I should be able to, I actually will probably have offers from every single, basically, filmmaking studio in Hollywood, but, I mean, the problem is I don't want them corrupting the story, you know, and so, <laughs> yeah, but for now, you know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. Oh, and...
You might have heard me mention this game before. Let's see. Escape from Tarkov. So the guy who actually owns... Oh, that's a freaking... I thought that was a video game for a second. Uh, so this game... Yeah. So this game is like hardcore, you know, Russian MMO FPS. So, yeah. Anyway, um, so this game is, I guess, owned by a guy named Nikita. He's like... I guess the head game dev, or maybe he owns the company, Battlestate Games, that makes Tarkov. And he actually makes some... Um, let me see, media. Yeah, so he, they've actually been making... Um, <clears throat> oh, he didn't even update the web page for this. He's been making, like, um, short films, I guess you could say, on, that he's posted on YouTube. It's got, like, millions of views, I think. Probably a lot more than that. Uh, and, in, like, this is real live actors and actions and... Uh, the, the special effects are actually really good. I think he uses real guns, and then he copies and pastes or whatever that's called, and then transposes it over the, like the thing. You know, obviously people are not getting shot in real life, but it looks like they are getting shot. It's like really well done special effects. So he said he's been getting offers from basically all the movie studios, and there's like hardly no story in any of this. <laughs> so yeah, so there's definitely plenty of opportunity out there. But anyway, before I get into it, um, let's see, yeah, I don't have my video game stuff right because I'd rather do the video first than go get food. I also, uh, not food, but groceries. Um, and then also I want to watch TSM get their asses handed to them in <laughs> League of Legends, so. Uh, and then, I'm, yeah, and then the last thing is I'm trying to actually figure out how to deal with Nick Fuentes and the Groypers because there's, like, there's just too many strikes going on. <clears throat> Because now I can definitely confirm that he really does have a problem with empathy, right? Because I gently complain about, you know, not getting my shirts, and he and Simon Sasquatch completely ignored it, all right? It's, pre it's very obvious, and in fact, more of his followers uh, seem to be bigger assholes than the ones that took my side instead, despite being groipers. So that already tells me right there, yeah, this is, it, it's done. All right. He will continue to gain strength, power, and it won't even take it, but the main problem is he will not be able to hold it. And it'll be the same cycle all over again. So now the only, with the exception of Jesse Lee Peterson, the only person left in the world that can do what is supposed to be done would be me. So now I have to like, all right, w w what do I do? Because right? at this point, it's just like, again, my video games, right? Instead of joining other people's guilds and building their shit up and then only for me to get kicked out because you know, I decided to retire or <laughs> go inactive, why don't I build all the shit myself, right? And every time I'm thinking, I go, I feel like I'm going too far with the marketing or content, I always think to myself, think like Elon Musk, maybe Bill Gates, well, even Bill Gates, and really Jeff Bezos. They don't do shit for content creation or marketing. Well, Microsoft does do marketing. That's just why they have problems. Right, but what do they primarily all do? They make stuff that people like, right? And then they, and then the stuff that you make and the people that like it do all the marketing for you. You know, see that's where you get your power from. So there's like a million things falling through my head. <clears throat> but you know, uh, you know, once I, I think today I'm also going to take the day off from coding. Maybe even tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, but I definitely want to start working on the save function, the last part of my game. Uh, definitely by, let's see, today is Tuesday. Definitely by maybe Thursday or Friday. And then Speedcoin's also doing pretty well. So, uh, yeah, everything's uh, everything's set. Uh, so searches for Bitcoin dropped down to nine last week. So it's still pretty crappy. Not surprising. Um, Bitcoin, hell, is doing okay. It's at 10,729. Litecoin, 46.11. So it's doing okay. And where's dog coin? 330.4 million. So it turns out like, you know, numbers were the same because it wasn't updating properly. You know, the the dev that made this plugin said uh, there was something wrong with the API. And it wasn't pulling correctly from CoinGecko. Uh, that's a good picture, actually. Stock future search for direct after Monday's rally. Uh, only probably a house pal to seek breakup of tech giants GOP member. Um, okay, that actually is really important. I want to read that. Uh, so, so Dow's features are up quite a lot. Yeah. Well, I mean, things have been recovering, and Trump has beaten the virus, too. So, uh, I actually do want to read that. And there, we can no longer rely on this because this is obviously staged. Um, 
they're actually manipulating uh, the betting markets too. At least that's what Nick Fuentes said before I stopped watching them. But I mean, I could have figured this out on my own too, because C-SPAN ran a poll and it said 70% of Trump support uh, Trump won the debate. So how the fuck does this go the other way? It's like retarded. There's high bar clear for okay. Don't care about that. Uh, good old uh, autoplay, draining my bandwidth. Blah, 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 blah. My husband of 20 years is that is having a fairy tale fairy while. What? Is this written by a woman or a gay man? I can't tell. Otherwise, why is this here on the front page of Yahoo? Uh, Dow Jones futures is rise despite big tech break buzz. Stock market rally. Trump recovers quickly. Yeah, it's just the flu. It's literally just the flu. And now Trump actually, like, the dissident right website that I've been reading says now it's, it's you know, like, Trump had to basically get this virus so he could tell everyone, see, it's not so bad. And Trump even knows it himself. He said, yeah, it was dangerous, but, you know, it wasn't so bad. And now he's going on the rampage. Uh, and we're going to support him all the way through. Because I want my money back. You know, I want to be able to buy my commercial real estate, right? Now that I'm going to be making a commitment to the game and writing the story, you know, that's an ongoing financial ex uh, expense. Having rent checks coming in every month, like clockwork, you know, very important to me, all right? Very poor. I can't keep, keep relying on cryptocurrency for a while. You know, not until I start developing the game in full. But by then, that's already going to be, you know, like you see how it's a chicken in the head of Catch-22. So, you know, instead of directly solving the problem, you have to go around the problem and solve it in a different way. Well, the enemy's fortified in front of you. All right, well, go around the flank. Maybe there's a back door somewhere. You know, not everything has to be dealt with head on, even though I very much like dealing with things head on. Because uh, it's not the most effective or even the smartest way to do things, but sometimes it is. Because you know, because well, it's like all right, you know, just just ram your way, just ram you ram your way through. GFC Coins at five to six, so it's doing all right. You know, now that Trump's recovered, you know, markets are getting over their jitters. You know, also Trump's definitely going to be hammering the uh, the whole yeah, this whole lockdown is a hoax bullshit. Open everything up. Four hundred four is at seventy eight to eighty, so it's pretty stable. Uh, two by two is still stable at around nine to ten. Sometimes goes down, down as well as eight to eleven. Rick's is stable at seven to eight. <clears throat> uh, how long it'll last? Who knows? One hundred coin continues to do pretty well. It's at forty one to forty two. Um, as high, it'll go as high as forty six at Toshi's, but not higher. Um, however, the contest, the training contest ends. Uh, think about jig next week. So, oh, actually, speaking of which, um, yeah, BTC Pop has not gone back to me yet, but it is Tuesday. Um, let me see. Yeah. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Sweet Coil. Well, Sweet Coil's doing better, so, hmm. I don't know. They should have gotten back to me by now. Great. Speedcoin's been having a lot of problems lately, even though the price has been going up on it. So 100 coin, uh, yeah, oh yeah, I already said that. So Speedcoin, now that I've gotten the BTC pop listing completed, it's at 99 to 118 Satoshis uh, of a Bitcoin. So it's doing very well. Um, hmm. I don't know, today's the 6. Let me see, I can check to see if they responded yet, because maybe they're just being slow again, because I think they take... Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, how has been swapped? So yeah, this was one hour ago. Hmm. I don't know. They should. I mean, they normally do approve it. Ah, uh, go figure. Ah, uh, shit. I might have to actually send them their email. Uh, yeah, I'll send them their email. Let's see, uh, partners, uh, speed coin, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, um, I intend to check, check up on the speed coin training contest, uh, application, uh, now that, uh, guy, let's,
No, 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 no. Of course, he's getting better and his fourth hit first. Okay. Wait, time test. Let me know. Thanks. Alright. Uh, make sure I send you the right one. Uh, okay, I better not say that. Okay, at crex24.com. Okay. Yeah, fuck. I hope they're not actually rejecting the application, because normally they would. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, well, hopefully I'll hear from them tomorrow. We'll see what they say. But, you know, once I can get a trade contest going for speed coin, you know, it's going to do... Uh, do very very well because I need to try to rehabilitate this the price of speed coin so that it goes back up to um, somewhere close to around a thousand. So maybe even if it reaches half of it, like five six hundred satoshi. I think this is my order up here because you can see that the uh, supply is really you know down. But we'll see. Uh, okay, don't need to do anything here. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't really feel like yeah I don't really feel like bumping this so. Oh, thank you to the one person that subscribed. Yeah, see, it was much smarter for me to just simply attach everything to my YouTube under the coin info. It's like, uh, yeah, like I really do have to take control of everything now. Like I literally do have to do everything myself. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, then again, if I were Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos at the time they were starting out, they, pro they probably had uh, realized they had to do the same thing too. Ah, uh, this is, ah, uh, the, these headphones are irritating like the top of my head. UK's FCA bans retail crypto derivative after year-long consideration. Um, well, that kind of sucks. Actually, this is such a big thing. How big is this article? Yeah, th this is actually so important that we're going to actually read that as the last thing because that is very important. Uh, Europe's new crypto regulation poses no questions for DeFi. Uh, I don't really care. Uh, new Bitcoin address. I mean, I should because you know we're supposed to cover this, but I mean, just you know, EU has already demonstrated that they do care about crypto. They just want some kind of regulation. So, uh, hit two year have to try advertise this crypto. Um, mm, I don't want to read this whole article, but we could take a quick look. Litecoin launches Mimbo. Well, tell us your full targets privacy protocol. Ah, so that's what it is. You, Europe is targeting the privacy part for, yeah, you because know, they want their money. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Well, they're also after money laundering too, but. RSK Bitcoin side shape point the, with the rise of NFT pay to win games have gotten mightily expensive. This is actually kind of important because, you know, we're going to be making a kind of pay to win game. Uh, share chart blockchain, but a DD port of our dirty. I think I by yes, got BitNex is shutting down. Oh, wow. BitNex is for a US anti money line requirement. Tune in now for live coverage. BitNex. BitNex. I definitely know the exchange. I think maybe I've tried using them one time. They said you can't use it or something, so that's why I never used it. Uh, new. Bitcoin hit two year high after China. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, personally, I don't really care because I don't use BitMEX. Um, but I imagine uh, people are panic, panicking and getting their money out. Flu C is coming up. We feel our high or high. And so the vaccine died from the flu. Are we going to close our country down? No, we have learned to live with it just like we learned to live with COVID and most probably far less lethal. Uh, this is definitely something I have to retweet. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I have to admit, I'm kind of a little upset that Crex did not get back to me. Because um, I filled it out on Sunday. So, I, I don't know. Alright, we'll just, we'll just retweet that. Let's get rid of this word counter. Uh, uh, they're in favor of bad abortion. Yep, not you want to talk about Roe v. Wade at our highest. Uh, oh, and that's that. Yeah, so this is the most important thing. So Trump's doing, yep. So don't, uh, so Trump's definitely going on the warpath, like I said, and pretty much everyone else with a brain is also saying. 
So now Trump's definitely trying to lift the lockdowns. Um, of course, the Democrats are going to refuse, and then that's going to cause people to go like, okay, what the fuck? So hopefully enough people get frustrated the Democrats and just kick them all out. At least enough of them so that we can reopen this country. And once the country is reopened, you know, then my cryptocurrency holdings and yours can finally go up, or I just have a much better chance of going up. New Bitcoin addresses hit to your high chart advertised crypto. Okay, you have a lot of a lot of new blah blah blah. China even had a large amount of new bear as authorities launch a target marketing for in favor of crypto. Yeah. China has really done a 180 on cryptocurrency. But then again, China has never actually been anti crypto. Uh, it actually turned out it's just the uh, uh fake news shit. Uh new address are important you know, in fact maybe it's actually um uh the CIA and they're doing their uh, typical anti-China stuff. Revive, but you see it's price he wrote. Uh, Etsy's net growth. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, China for foreign event. Okay, we got a core market to focus Chinese retail investors. Psyche, like uh, crypto, yes, is really half a row. Um, primitive founding partner, Adobe One, who decided the Chinese state media campaign is curious to trip for such a core game. Well, yeah, because China's coming out with China coin, so. Uh, bad for choice, still able to China can find over the cow or is it how my account will be continuing? Yeah, so, yeah, there's this is probably where the confusion is also coming from. The Adobe One says Bitcoin and crypto is not banned. Only certain types of things like ICOs are banned, which is fine. This twin count of any while, bullish and chain retrofit, Kimono, Wu, and Miles, Cover, break out of the power of traditional, I know we go in the near future. Yeah, the, the the election, you know, when Trump wins re-election will be the perfect catalyst, right? Because Trump's definitely going to win re-election. The Democrats will definitely challenge it with, with the mail-in fraud shit. Trump's going to obviously refuse. And then uh, we'll, we'll have to see if there's going to be an actual military coup. I really don't see a lot of military soldiers actually following the orders to depose Trump because they know they're going to be get, pissing off a lot of the people out in the streets, right? You know, even even the liberal minded soldiers in the U.S. Army or U.S. Marine Corps, they're not going to take too kindly to opening fire on Trump supporters. Right. So <laughs> it's like 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 actual opening fire on them. So um, we'll see how it uh, plays out. UK is that because if that actually somehow happens, we all live through it. I'm definitely going to put that in my story. And, then, you know, there'll be a lot of executions in my uh, story, uh, you know, because you can't be doing shit like that. Yeah. UK's FCA bans retail crypto dirt after year long consideration. Here shares I please last year when I heard as crypto fear and ETNs will soon be banned. Oh, that kind of sucks. Uh, the last year show Tuesday by the UK's special cut uh, companies that cut <coughs> will not only be able to offer crypto such as um, future stocks and ETNs. Yeah, I don't know the, what the hell is up with fucking England, but the UK government is completely out of control. You know, they're banning everybody from living their lives with the lockdown craziness, and then now they're banning cryptocurrency, basically. Like, these pe like the people who run the UK government are, like, very evil, you know, pe uh, establishment people. Very bad people, you know. Uh, like, I don't know what it is about England, but they, they're, like, their rulers have traditionally always been very oppressive. Like, I don't know why. Quite frankly, I'm kind of surprised the English people, like the regular English people, are willing to tolerate this kind of crap. Which is probably why the pilgrims and the founding fathers decided, you know what, let's ditch England and find out, found our own country. Thank God they did that. Some reasons are provided for more detailed and clear concern that they have no reliable basis for IUR to be able Further motivation study include the inaugurate of crypto and retail crypto. The bank will come into effect January 6th. We well, get a pedal on a real and these products are protections paramount here. Uh, how about we'll be coil with all the bad and the bad is like what it offers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I guess uh, coin shares is going to go completely bust. See, this is why it's important to have the people and like quantity on your side. These guys were complaining and lobbying, and because they didn't have enough numbers, you know, uh, it's just like typical politics. Well, now nobody gave a shit about them. That's, uh, that's unfortunately how it goes. Well, the rest of the world will move on. You know, it's funny too. China is more free in terms of cryptocurrency than England. 
think about that. And I'm supposed to believe in you. I'm supposed to believe China's like the big bad wolf. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's like, okay, so now freedom and having access to financial products is now um, <clears throat> like evil. It's like, <sighs> this is why fake news terrorism is so dangerous. With the rise of NFTs, pay to win games, okay, so when they went out, oh, what if the cost is half a million dollars? Yeah, well, blockchain game being pushed by the other players, the creation of non player or NFTs to a game from this mystical world play to that money you've been granted to be run by a creator of other players. Uh, in some ways, it's only a free model game which has become popular. So here's the thing blockchain is doing exactly what you already do in like private games, except private game companies don't allow you to trade. <clears throat> you know really high level stuff right for real money at least it's always done in game so it's free money you get back you probably mobile games really starting to take off you've ever been playing Candy Crush for free money while well, who exactly spending 100 bucks or 200k gems that's the same person willing to fork out for a level 99 mage NFT however there's one being while the 99 spending you could go straight to the developer once Apple is taking a subtle chunk the NFT profit comes directly to you the seller Great news for gamers, as long as the game and marketplace maintain that community, they always should make a healthy return for transaction fees. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm doing with my, what I want to do with my um, strategy game for Aeon. All right? It's just basically like Lord's Mobile, but it'll be my story universe instead. It actually feels nice to actually just be able to say Aeon. I haven't tweeted anything about it yet because, you know, I'd rather just wait till, you know, because I have to actually file the applicate the $100 application fee to Steam so I can... Because I don't think I can test the save function until, because uh, it needs to do cloud saving on Steam. So obviously my thing has to be on Steam, which means I have to, you know, get approved by Steam and pay them the hundred bucks. Well, I have to pay them the hundred bucks first, then get approved. Uh, you should make a healthy return for transaction fees. Instead of interstate, try to have a well, new epic RPG. Moran is according to the million of time the game is available to play yet, and according to told. There's currently no playable variant anywhere in the concept fan movie to pre-production this year. Well, that's funny. I'm just going to buy the city building kit and already be up and running. Um, that's the other thing, too. If I really wanted to go advanced, I could actually, when I make the, when I eventually come off the auction house function in my game and people could buy and sell, I could actually use the blockchain to power that. That'd be interesting, actually. Not much to worry about there, then. The big news is that players will be able to fully own their game. Yeah, you know, it has NFTs in the blockchain, but it is a blockchain yeah, after all, so that detail isn't particularly news worry by itself. Uh, very dark for the developer, what a title is, when one can spend money buying a game for a video game, which is still in the concept phase. Yeah. So I have a few robot buy by the main F50% of them are the deeds of various property targeting from Humble Land Home to one of the ancient citadels. So the very best walls, it has to be the very, be the very, very most safe for the real though. Now, many of these blockchain are built around kind of having to speculate to a key revealing upline public data. Okay. Right. Now, who's going to invest that much in playing a game? Well, they obviously never played. Um, uh, I think. God, what was that really old? Crypt. Crypt. It's not Cryptopia, but it was the. I remember the name of the planet called Calypso, but it was the, that game. Someone actually did spend a lot, like. Half a million or a million dollars on virtual property in that game. Gal Toko had these NFT of the King of Why are the matters? Okay. I don't want to read the rest of the story. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So basically, yeah, basically they're just doing what I've always wanted to do, except they're just using a blockchain to do it. But that's good, though. Well, that's actually really good. Because the more people that get acclimated to doing stuff like this, the easier, the less pushback I'm going to receive when I do the same thing. But chances are, it'll definitely, it'll still be centralized, essentially, because. If you, like, let's say you do something bad, I perma ban you from the game. Well, how are you going to access your stuff now? Yeah, you'll have access to a blockchain, but... Well, actually, that is true. If you have access to the blockchain, you might still be able to send some kind of command. And then, uh, yeah. Huh. So, yeah, you could actually bypass the bit, uh, ban. You just won't be able to play the game anymore, but... Uh, yeah, maybe it is actually better. House panels to seek break up of tech giants, GOP member says. All right, so maybe the fucking Republicans are actually doing something for once. A house, well, actually, let me see, is, uh, oh, here we go. Oh, they just responded to my speech. Shoot. Um, 
four minutes ago. Uh, shit. I have to hurry. I I have to hurry this up. I have to actually hurry this up. Uh, a house, uh, a house panel led by, because they actually responded to my request. A house panel led by Democrats investigating competition in the technology sector is poised to propose. All right, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to actually pause this video and then basically stop recording. Then I'll, you should, all right, I'll just do that. I'll use shortcut to, because right, I have to well, send them. The um, much more color. All right. So I sent the thing to Crex. Uh, so I'm actually just having this pulled up so I can, uh, access the, Oh, there's Brave Browser blocking my ad banner. Uh, I have to wait for the transaction to show up here. All right, a block just got generated. Nice. All right, so it should be like within a couple of minutes. So I got to check back real quick, send it to them, and uh, we'll be off. But uh, basically, um, yeah, there will be a Speedcoin uh, thing. I set it to start on this coming Friday. So the price, <laughs> yeah, this shit's going to go skyrocketing. So I'm kind of hoping maybe uh, people and their friends will buy at 600 Satoshis of Bitcoin. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, ah, oh, this needs to update already. All right. So go back here. A House panel led by Democrats investigating competition in the tech sector is poised to propose three or four to block giants such as Amazon Inc. And Apple Inc. from both owning marketplaces and selling their pro own products on the corner of critique of the recommendations by one Republican. So, you know, it's better than nothing, but I don't see how that will stop their power. The critique, and, but at least the Republicans are finally getting off their ass and actually freaking doing something for once. The critique and the panel's report are still drafts and the concepts of both could change. It's not clear which members will endorse the report whose release has been delayed because of last minute info regarding Facebook, CNBC reported. The report was expected this week, but it's been pushed back according to a person familiar with the matter. Hmm. The recommendations, which would represent the most dramatic overhaul of competition law in decades if approved, are the result of a year-long investigation by the House Antitrust Panel led by Democratic Representative Dade Sicily. Oh, wow, there's even a Democrat that's actually on board with this shit. I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, yeah, with that being said, uh, I lost my train of thought because I had to refill my damn water. Um, what was I? Oh, there we go. Uh, let's take a look here. There. I just got to get this. I just got to grab this thing real quick. Alright, so we'll do that. Alright, okay. Coins are sent. TXID, I think. Let me know if you need anything else. Thanks. Alright. Yeah, so, oh yeah, so the speed coin thing is going to run for one week and then after that it'll go to the normal thing. For now, the reason why I want to do one week is because I want to accelerate the urgency. So that more people go, oh, wow, I never heard of this coin before. What is this speed coin? And then, you know, everyone dumpster dives in. I also have to put in a support ticket with BTC Pop and, and ask them, um, can they take a look at why the price is still zero on BTC Pop? Because uh, right now it's displaying zero, which is a problem because it, show, it shows up at the bottom of the list and people think, oh, this coin's worthless. When that's clearly not the case. The recommendations, which would represent the most overall company like are the result of a year of the, Oh, wait, where are at that? Um, are also investigating Google and Facebook. Sicilian's recommendations would include what he called a glass steagle law for tech platforms, according to a draft discussion paper from Republican Ken Buck. Uh, so, political Bloomberg also. Buck said that recommendation and some others in the staff would report. report would be not sort of the GOP. Glass steagle refers to the depression era law for commercial and investment banking. Yeah, God, this is why this is why nobody likes conservatives. We're so fucking outdated. All right. Well, except me, I'm obviously up to date, but no, but everyone else is kind of not. Sicily's proposal would prohibit tech companies from entering different lines of business and amount to breakout companies, according to Buck. As of right now, would be prevented from selling its own products. That's fine with Google. Good old both the world's biggest search engine, YouTube, and Apple would be barred from owning the App Store and offering its own apps. You know, I just realized I just got the thing. See, one thing I really don't like about myself no longer following Nick Fuentes is he really does have a lot of good ideas, but he also gets it from other places that I also get it from too. So I have to actually write something for Aeon. It's about the collective. 
conservatives tend to be individualists, while the others are the opposite, opposite collectivists. Uh, add to the aid that. Well, You'll notice I'm not saying the whole thing because I want it to be a surprise. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of problems with. Um, uh, oh, I should write. Add this to theme. Yeah, but there's a there's a reason why conservatives just seem simply have like a million different problems. So that's going to have to change. All right, there we go. So at least before, uh, okay, we kind of have the majority priority revenue to create companies, tech companies to acknowledge creating structural separation. Buck said he's going to sit on the need to rein in the power of tech companies and agrees that with certain areas, such as giving more either com competition forcers. Big, uh, blah, blah, blah. Spokesperson said Buck did be responding to, okay. Sicily told me in an interview that known as the cover again, deeply asserting abuse of dominance to crush competitors to pad all issues. Yeah, it took you forever to figure that out. Paladin, if you know, they yielded me that helps so early, clean one July, money, blah, 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 which does absolutely nothing. Uh, or maybe they're actually doing something funny. The draft report also recognizes that would require that technology to allow you to easily move their data from one website to another. Huh. Quite a, but also, why would that do anything? Oh, I guess that means it would. F what? I don't understand what this does. It also recommends the legislation to shift the borough proof in merger case. Tech companies cap the market share in Sonora to 25% for buyers, overturn Supreme Court, and other decisions that critics say have happened in Fort Henry from blocking murder to eliminate arbitration clause in terms of. Yes. I wasn't even aware that the Supreme Court had a hand in none of this bullshit. Well, I'm glad they're going to fucking remove that. In addition to system investigation, federal and state antitrust enforcers are poised to file a sort of monopolization lawsuit against Google. And additional cases could be in the pipeline, boom, bears report. Ah, so maybe this is where the free speech thing is going to come in. The U.S. FTC has prepared a possible case against Facebook and Amazon and Apple are facing inquiries by antitrust authorities as well. Good. Because all these, because right now my shit still gets censored, right? I guarantee you when I post this on YouTube, I'm not going to, it's going to deliberately get demoted in the rankings. So, you know, fucking Google wants to be an asshole about everything, but so be it. All right. You know, there's a reason why people like Nick Fuentes rise to power. It's because of stupid shit like this, right? You know, you know, everything does not happen in a vacuum, right? I'm the guy that has to worry about the collateral damage that results from all of this. I'm also getting hungry, and I kind of want a halal card again. Yeah, I'm going to have a halal card today. Screw it. Even though I had it like a few days ago over the weekend. It wasn't immediately, immediately clear whether other committee Republicans, including its top-ranking GOP members, uh, would join his recommendations. Representative Jim Sensenbrenner, who is top Republican on the Senate, said in an October 1st hearing that, Cicely, that he and Cicely are discussing the future of antitrust laws. So he's in, so big tech has their money in Jim's pocket. He's a traitor. Jim Jordan, another fake right grifter traitor, top Republican, because has really used the investigation here rail against the Kaiser for the buck in the report, especially on censorship across the political spectrum, bias against conservatives in particular, yeah, which obviously exists, and against uh, Christians. Buck said the Democrats will recommend imposing restrictions that will make it tougher for tech to grow by acquiring other firms. While Buck didn't provide details of the manure, he described the shifting burn proof in merger cases. They often complain that the tech companies have been able to solidify their own acquiring prices start with little or no screening from antitrust enforcers. Yeah, this is actually a big thing. This allows them to grow like you wouldn't believe. At a recent hearing, a former head of the Justice Department entering just Justice said the courts have made near impossible to guarantee stop Donald Trump from acquiring nasty uh, put a bar bar proof that deals would be good for competition. That could make it easier to turn to block the deal. Yeah, thank God. While Buck said he supported a burn shifting approach, he said Congress should have gotten worried about Bernard Paul by their ban on acquisition of future rivals and starting like Facebook's takeover or Instagram. Such a ban would prevent Starbucks from profiting from their idea by selling to another company and reduce the incentive for anyone back, uh, Starbucks Buck said. Uh, Yeah, I mean, it is true, but you have to really rein in the, you have to curb the power of startups, right? You know, you need people, like, on the shorthand, yeah, people, the people who start companies will make less money because they can't just sell out to, like, Google or whatever for, like, you know, 11 tr tr uh, gazillion trillion dollars. 
but it's bad for our society. So even though this is something a traditional Republican or even just any conservative would support, for the sake of our society, we should actually back what the Democrats in this case want to do, which is actually the right thing. Just not allow them to sell out. Or at least not allow them to sell out to big tech. They could sell to like another rival that's about similar in size, but overall doesn't move the ball that much, right? So in my case, let's say my company is worth $50 million. I can go buy out somebody that's like worth $25 million because we're not going to really do that much, right? What's, what's a $75 million co company, which would be my new valuation, be compared to Google that literally burns through $75 million a day, right? You know, so, but if I were Google and then I buy out that $25 million thing, then that could actually be a problem. Because I can do that to everyone else, and I own everything, right? And that's not good. I should not be allowed to own everything. The report's recommendations face the Rafael Bell, Ottawa, Gallup, and kind of any legislative action won't happen until 2020, after the election, of course. They'll likely run to Republicans on his law, chain antitrust law. Yeah, because they're in the fucking, because they're being bribed by these assholes. Even the auction hands the Senate majority of the Democrats are going to still use procedural tools to block bills from passing. Uh, no, what's going to happen is the Democrats are, gonna, are in bed with the Democrats, uh, are in bed with big tech, and they're completely wipe out the Republicans, because a, Repu a lot of these fake Republican retards are, like, completely retarded, and they don't realize what's really going on. Uh, and they won't until it's too late. But luckily, not everyone's retarded, so. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com <clears throat> forward slash uh, JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. Looks like I'm going to be missing the TSM game. So uh, obviously I'm still doing one video a week. So I've got, I've got a lot of stuff to do. I gotta go get groceries today and then continue working on my uh, story slash game. Uh, and then yeah, so watch out for uh, the speed coin um, <clears throat> trading contest. I'll do a tweet about it once it goes live. Um, whatchamacallit. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, it's set, it's set for Friday because I'm trying to figure out are they gonna respond to it to me today or whatever. So, uh, yeah, so um, price of speed coin is definitely going to skyrocket. How much? Uh, let's just hope it goes up to here because I have to because I have to restore balance, just like in the video games. I have to restore the balance of power in speed coin, like your, its price. So it should be way higher. So I'm guessing it's around five to six hundred Satoshis. But it's definitely going to go up. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, I will see you all uh, next week. Uh, and now that because I'm only doing one video a week, it'll tend to be longer because you know I've got to cover more ground. Anyway, I'll see you all next week unless something super duper major happens. And then, uh, yeah, uh, I'm also thinking about maybe doing a live stream for the election, but I don't know. I have to decide. I, mean, I have nobody watching me, so I know it'd just be me. <laughs> but uh, excuse me. Ah, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next week. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 100 Coin, Speed Coin. I guess eventually I'll be pushing uh, Aeon too. And then, um, yeah, here you go. Very good thumbnail.